Imagine this. You're sitting in your doctor's office. The cuff tightens around your arm and the monitor flashes. 142 over 78. You look at your doctor and wonder, which number should I be worried about? I've heard that question hundreds of times over the past 35 years, especially from people like you, wise, experienced, and finally ready to take better care of your heart. What I often tell my patients is this, blood pressure isn't just two numbers on a screen, it's a story, a reflection of how you live, how you breathe, and how you treat your body each day. Every number is a whisper from your heart saying, listen to me, you might feel fine today, but deep inside, your arteries could be telling a very different story. So today, let's sit together for a few minutes and uncover what those two numbers really mean. After decades of treating thousands of patients across the U.S., I've realized one simple truth. Most people don't fear high blood pressure until it sends them to the hospital. I once met a man named John, a 62-year-old retired engineer. He smiled warmly and said, Doc, I feel fine. It's just the machine that doesn't like me. His blood pressure read 152 over 76, a bit high on the top, but he felt great. That's the quiet trap so many fall into. No pain, no dizziness, no symptoms. So they assume all is well. But I want you to picture this. Your heart is like a water pump that's been running nonstop for decades. Each beat pushes life through thousands of miles of arteries. When your systolic pressure, the top number, rises, that pump is working overtime. Your arteries stiffen with age like old rubber hoses that lose flexibility. Every beat hits them harder, and the heart never complains. It just keeps going until one day it can't. Many people tell me, I'm fine, doctor. I take my pills and I gently reply, good. But that doesn't mean you're safe because medication lowers the number not the cause. The body isn't a machine, it's a living ecosystem. You can't just force the numbers down. You must bring your system back into balance. If you take your pills but still eat salty foods, live under constant stress, and sleep only four hours a night, it's like washing your hands in dirty water. It looks better for a moment, but the danger remains. Another patient of mine, Ellen, age 58, taught piano for 30 years. She told me, my blood pressure is under control, but my heart still races and I feel dizzy. Her diastolic number, the bottom one, was high around 92. That's the pressure inside your arteries when your heart rests. It's like the constant water pressure in a pipe, even when the pump is off. When diastolic pressure stays high, it weakens your aorta, the main artery that carries blood from your chest down to your legs. It can form a dangerous bulge called an aneurysm. Imagine a balloon stretched too thin. Each heartbeat fills it just a little more until one day it bursts. I don't share this to frighten you. I share it because blood pressure is not just numbers. It's a message, a language your heart uses to talk to you. High systolic pressure increases your risk of heart attack, stroke, kidney failure. High diastolic pressure increases your risk of aneurysm and long-term vessel damage. They're both dangerous in their own ways and both deserve your attention. Have you noticed how your blood pressure is never completely stable? It rises with anger, drops with laughter, climbs with lack of sleep, shifts with worry. That's because your emotions and your body are always dancing together. People ask me, Doc, I take my meds. Why isn't my pressure stable? And I tell them, because you're healing your numbers, not your heart. Stress is the invisible driver of high blood pressure. Every burst of anger or worry makes your arteries tighten and your heart race. When that happens daily, at work, at home, or in the quiet of your thoughts, your body forgets how to relax. Sometimes the best medicine isn't a pill. It's a deep breath, a peaceful walk, or a full night's sleep. I encourage my patients to start small. Eat potassium-rich foods like avocados, bananas, salmon, and sweet potatoes. Move for 30 minutes a day. Just walk, no need for marathons. Sleep at least seven hours each night. Sleep is the heart's reset button. When you sleep, your arteries loosen, stress hormones drop, and your heart finally rests. One of my favorite stories is from Richard, age 70. He told me, 
Doctor, when I sleep well, my blood pressure is lower than when I take my pills. And I smiled. That's not strange at all, Richard. That's your body thanking you. Sometimes lowering blood pressure doesn't happen in the gym. It happens in the park, under the morning sun, with fresh air and slow breaths. Because blood pressure, at its core, is the mirror of how you live. The biggest mistake I see in people over 50 is ignoring small changes. They say, it's just a few points higher, that's nothing. But blood pressure never rises alone. It often brings friends, cholesterol, blood sugar, inflammation, and together they silently wear down your arteries year after year. Modern medicine has changed its view. We no longer say that high systolic pressure is normal for old age. Now we treat both numbers seriously. Think of systolic as the heart's strength and diastolic as the vessel's patience. You need both in harmony, just like inhaling and exhaling. Research now shows a 30-year-old with hypertension has a 63% lifetime risk of developing heart disease. Without hypertension, that risk drops to 46%. Medication saves lives, yes, but lifestyle saves decades. Blood pressure isn't your enemy, it's your mirror. It reflects how you eat, think, rest, and love yourself. You can't fight it, but you can learn to listen. If, when I see my longtime patients, I often ask, do you still check your blood pressure every morning? And they smile saying, yes, doc. That little machine has become my friend. I love that answer. Because the moment you start listening to your own body, healing begins. If you're hearing these words today, maybe your heart is quietly asking for a bit more care. Start small, a lighter meal, a slow walk, a calm breath. Little things done daily are how you tell your body, I still care and I want to live well. Thank you for watching. If this video resonated with you, please subscribe to Pressure Pulse Tips and share it with someone you love. Because health always grows stronger when it's shared.